Okay, now we're going to learn how to do a custom sweep family inside of a project. So uh, let's look at what we're going to do. I'm going to go to my exterior, and right here I want a column. I want it to bend off um, in, in, the, in the space here because I'm going to have something overhang here. So we're just going to go to our upper floor plan, and I'm going to do a sweep. And I want the sweep to be on the vertical axis, but i got to make a reference line here first. A reference plane. So what I'm going to do is make a reference plane and it's not going to be shown in this view so I'm going to hit my unhide and I'm going to click on it and I need to name it so that I can see it later so I'm going to do ref for family. Perfect. I'm going to uh, go back so that uh, it's knit not, so it's nothing's hidden anymore um, and then I'm going to go to my south elevation. So what I want to do here is I want to make a component in place, in place, family. I'm just going to make it generic. There we go. We're going to call it column. And we're going to make it a sweep. So we're going to make it sweep and it's going to ask us what uh, we're going to sketch our path. And when we sketch our path, it's going to ask us what plane we want it on. We're going to pick the plane that we just made. So there we go. We're going to go up four feet. We're going to go out at 120 all the way up to here. You can change how long you want it later. And hit good to go. So that's what it's going to sweep. So now we want to go to our upper floor plan and we want to show what's going to follow that sweep. So we went, I'll hit X again. We went select profile, edit profile, and that point right here, this is where we want to start. We're going to make it four inches, four inches, four. Oops, that's not four inches, so I'm going to click on that, click on the dimension, just quickly make it four inches. Okay, we're going to make this uh, material. You can assign any material that you want. I'm just going to do just a random one right now. I'm going to hit, and then I'm going to make it so that I can control it without having to come into the family. I control from just clicking on the family. I'm going to call it material, hit OK, hit OK, hit OK, and hit OK one more time. Lots of lights, it lock, lots of light, it likes a lot of OKs. So here we go. Here is our family, and let's say that you wanted it to be flat on top. Right now, it's not flat, it just followed that straight line. So what we can do is we can add a void to it. Um, and then also, what we can do is if you just click on it, you hit edit, what pops up, remember that parameter that we made that said material? That's where under materials and finishes, material there comes up, there's our material and we can change it without having to hit edit and go into the family. But we're hitting edit and we're going into the family because what we want to do is we want to do a void sweep. So we're going to create a void and actually let's go to the south elevation. South elevation, create void. We're going to do a void extrusion. Again, we made that plane. We're going to go select it and click here. We're going to make this flat. And we want it to start at zero. We want it to go back four inches. We're going to hit OK. We're going to look in 3D. See, it's going the wrong way. So let's click on it. We want it to go negative four inches. Hit OK, and bam, it took off that top. Now you got a flat little column, and you're ready to go. So that's how you make a column like that. Next thing I'm going to show you, um, we went over it in, in some other videos, but uh, 
this is what I was going to show on the last video is the paint tool paint tools right there you can make your material um, let's search for green there's a green click on it click on your wall you're good to go if you want to go to this view let's make this whole box so that's the wall right there is where we painted it we're going to paint this other wall type in green highlight that wall click on it done and the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a we're going to make a 3d view so how you render is you use 3d views cameras start it where you want it you can unclick you can move it around click where you want it to end that's your view box and then we're going to change it from just a hidden line to a shaded view now you can see your green wall. You can make it different later and uh, make it different colors, but that's how you do it. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, and talk to you all later.